All right, okay, I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. And of course, now that I started recording, I'm going to get blown the fuck up here. I have been fighting like a complete bitch, and it hasn't really been working out entirely well because I have not been fighting like a like a good bitch. I'm not good at being a bitch. What can I say? Yes. I just, I, this is all I do. It's all I do. That's all we do. That was actually easy. <laughs> that part was easier right there than the past, like, five battles before. Like, there were dangerous moments. Every single moment before all of that. And that one was just the easiest. Why do I not have the trophy? Where is my trophy? Hi. Oh. Oh. Anytime you get hit now, it's just like, fuck, 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 please, 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 no. Please, no. What am I doing? That was not what that was supposed to be. I have no f Oh my god. That was also not what I wanted. I meant to do, because I was planning on doing the super at the end of that to ensure it killed. But for some reason... For some reason, I was just like, let's do super now! Who the fuck cares? Oh shit. Every time I whiff a 5C, I'm like, oh god, help me. Oh god, help me! <laughs> oh god, help me! What the fuck? What the fuck, Eltham? Why are you not getting hit, Eltham? Oh Jesus! This bitch is scaring me. This bitch is scary. It's definitely gotten to the point. Like, I'm pretty sure if I get hit with a throw or a DP, like, I'm, I'm just dead. No question about it, I am just dead. Oh! We're good, we're good. It's okay, it's okay. We were scared for nothing. Shit. Fuck! Fuck! See, look at that shit. 4K on a DP. That's cute. I wish my Grim Reaper did 4K. Does if I do a combo. What am I doing? <laughs> oh shit, I'm dead. Nope, not dead. Not dead! We live to fight another day! She DP'd me. She DP'd my 2A. This bitch DP'd my 2A. My own fault. I did a terrible... I don't know what I'm... I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was doing, but I should get hella points. There is my shit, and I got hella points. Now let's go see. I want to go check it out and see. Because I went here last time, and I... Stuck. I got stuck there. God damn, that motherfucker has got a hell of a lot more points than everybody else. Than everybody else. <sighs> All with Waldstein. Wonder why. Is there, are his combos just that much faster? All the survivals with Hilda? That actually kind of makes sense given that you just zone with her and I guarantee you that. God damn. <laughs> that is some stupid shit. This is some dumb shit right here. Two Batistas. Three Batistas. Four Batistas. Finally a Merkava. There are five characters. Not even five characters. There are five people in the top 100 of survival win rankings that are not Hilda. Only two other characters. Four Batistas and one Merkava. And we're still the fucking Hilda train. So the best Gordo is 59. Part of me wants to beat that. Part of me most certainly wants to beat that. But yeah, obviously I'm going to be way the fuck down. I'm probably going to be in the thousands. Yeah, 3,000. Wait, what? That ain't right. Did I accidentally... I must have I must have accidentally clicked not. So I'm not actually that bad. I must have just accidentally um, not uploaded that one. That's just fine, whatever. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Top 100. Top 100! Oh, I could do that. Yo, that's a great idea. Come in here and just watching replays and analyzing those. I'll have to try that out. So let me just, let's just do one of these right now. Oh, I have to download it. I can't just watch it. Yeah. Yes. 
Could not find what? Oh, I see. I don't have replay data. I thought I created. Well, whatever. Well, this is exciting now. This is actually, this is very good. I mean, I should have known that this would be here. So let me go check this shit out. So I'm assuming I have to go to replay mode and watch that. I wonder if watching shit gives me points. There's so much unlockable shit in this game. I don't really care about most of them, but just having all the colors unlocked would be kind of cool. Okay, I'm not liking this now. I have one replay and it's taken like a minute to verify that shit. Come on, bro. Dude! Why is it taking so long? Why is everything gotta take so damn long? Oh, cool. I got another trophy. How exciting. So, wow. 347 wins out of 380 games played. Gordo. Monsieur Gordo. Nice. Very good. That was smart. Dodge right the fuck out of the way. I wonder how difficult it is to control that. So far, I'm not impressed by Mr. 91%. Didn't even tag a golden throw. Mr. 91% victory rate Gordo. Hasn't done a thing aside from throwing 5C. That shit punched. That's that is actually fairly. Dude, this dude's combos. Suck. How does this guy have 380 games played? These are his combos. These are his. This is his neutral. And this motherfucker got a 90 plus percent win rate. Like that. This is some of the most. This is this is some pure disappointment. Off this chaos is gone. Like, this chaos is fucking going in and bodying this motherfucker. Oh, well, now he's dead. That's like, he didn't even. He hasn't even tried to do a real combo. This Gordo. Like, dash up 5C? Like, that's, that's actually extremely punishable. And that was smart. He just. All he's doing is dash up 5C, make him run into a projectile. Why the fuck not? Yeah, with punish. Brilliant. This chaos is good. I'm very impressed. I am very impressed by the person I did not think I would be impressed by. In any way, shape, or form. Like, I was expecting to see a good Gordo. And this chaos is fucking this guy's day up. This guy sucks. Yo, this guy actually, that Japan fan 67 was, uh, he had a lobby open. Unfortunately, I think I was a one bar connection with him, but I, I recognize the name now. So, yeah. Like, I'm expecting this 90 plus percent win rate Gordo to fucking go in and show me something useful. He didn't do a damn thing aside from dash up Grim Reaper or dash up 5C or dash up throw. That is it. That is awful. Damn, that is terrible. Yes, I want to delete that. I don't want, I mean, yes, like I said, the Chaos Player Japan Fan 67, you are a godlike person. Why is it taking this long to delete some fucking info? You had to verify my replay data? Before you could delete the replay data. Why is everything in like everything to do with online shit <laughs> in anime fighting games is like massively inefficient and so time consuming? I don't understand why. I really don't. Alright, so there's still nobody. I just want I just want to check to see. Maybe we can get some. I don't know. So how do I can I like can I like so I guess that just takes my favorite color. Like that's just that's I have no choice over that. Looks that way. Hey, look! It's the fucking terrible Gordo player. <laughs> How does that? I just, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. Maybe he was just having an off day. I mean, you know, it's you can't really properly. Maybe I saw him at his worst. You know, like you can't really judge somebody. You can. You can definitely judge somebody. By that, like that's kind of the mark of like a highly competitive person in general. If you see them at their worst, you are still impressed. They still have a chance to win. That's like that's something that a lot of people are really bad at in general because a lot of people in that get into like video game competitive video gaming stuff, 
they've never really dealt with like a high pressure situation that's why you see so many people just fold like they get into this really intense match one thing goes wrong and it snowballs and they don't have like the mental strength to just shrug it off and keep going and that's something that's really that's what that's what the wong factor is how everybody talks about how you know like justin wong makes these massive comebacks and it's nothing to do with him it's everything to do with his opponent's impression of him how they're sitting there like holy shit i'm beating justin wong oh my god i'm gonna beat justin wong wait a minute this is justin wong oh shit justin wong just got a hit on me and all of a sudden everything in your brain just goes fucking crazy and you're sitting there thinking yo this is justin wong i can't do this i this is too much i can't handle it and then all of a sudden he just came back on you <laughs> and fucking annihilated you when you had a game that was in the bag because you let his status get to you whereas somebody with the experience and abilities of justin wong would never be in that situation and that's why he makes those comebacks is because he doesn't break he doesn't crack he just sits there and he plays his damn game and that's what a lot of people do like especially when you're coming up in the scene and you run into i've talked about doing it myself uh you run into somebody that you you know who they are you know they're a good player and rather than thinking it was my chance to prove i'm a good motherfucking player let's buckle down and prove that i have come this far that i can now take this dude and instead you're sitting there like holy shit this is justin wong oh god he's so much better than me oh fuck how am i gonna beat this dude and now you're just spiraling and you've lost your focus you've lost your cool and so like that like i said you can't really judge somebody's entire capacity of ability off of one match you just can't do it uh but however like i said if you are seeing some if somebody at their worst looks terrible then they're not a very good player because and i've talked about this myself as well how actually have i talked about this myself i haven't it was in a video that i ended up deleting because it was what uh i will get to it eventually one of the pokemon blaze asked me if i would talk about how i got into fighting games and I, I did that for a bit but then i ended up like not really liking how i i rambled a bit more than i wanted to so i decided to delete that and then do it again another time when i have an actual like diagram of how i want it, like what i want to talk about so i don't get so i don't ramble uh into anything unnecessary or so that i don't like twist everything around so i'm like going back and forth between events like on a timeline like it's all scattered i want it to be neat concise and um um organized whereas like i said before i just rambled and that's not really what i wanted to do there but i did talk about it in that video and i like i said i ended up deleting it was that myself as a player i am very confident in my own abilities in fighting games and what i can do i believe i am a very good player but I am also very aware of the fact that I do not play often enough, I do not grind my execution often enough to be that consistently good player. And so I have moments where I'm properly focused, where I'm properly, I'm in the right mindset, I'm not like, you know, distracted by other things, I'm not, what you know, whatever. And everything that I want to do in my head translates properly to my hands and it comes out. And when that happens, I look godlike, and I can compete with anybody. I am 100% sure of that fact. That when everything, like I said, when everything that I want to do, I can execute, I fully believe that I can win against anybody. However, because of the fact, like I said, my execution is spotty, it is inconsistent, I am not capable of doing that terribly often very rarely do i manage to do that it's almost always when i'm up against somebody that is extremely good and i'm like yo i really have to focus to beat this dude like i said i am 100 convinced i can beat anybody in the world and you have to be 100 no matter what your abilities are i am realistic about how good i am that's why i'm talking about all these butts in there i know <laughs> that i am not an amazing player all the time.
but I do know that I have the capacity to be an amazing player. I just don't put in the time. I don't put in the grind. Um, and so that's what you need to... That's basically what I'm trying to say is like, I don't know how I got onto this. Just talking about this dude absolutely ruining my expectations of a god like Gordo. <laughs> but um, just the idea that a lot of people see like... People talk about F Champ. People talk about like Chris G. Um, I've heard I've heard it about SKD a little bit before because he's he can be pretty arrogant at times. How like yo? Why is this dude so arrogant? Why is this dude such an asshole? You have to be if you want to be competitive at anything. You have to believe at the bottom of your fucking heart that you are the best. Nobody can beat you. Nobody is better than you. You are the fucking best. You have to believe that, or you're beating yourself before you ever step into the ring with anybody else. And so that's kind of where I'm coming from, is like, I am 100% convinced that I am capable of beating anybody in the world. And I can do that if what goes on in my head translates to my fingers doing things properly. But we've seen me play. We have seen me execute. Or not execute as it would be uh, more proper in this case and so it's definitely one of those things where it's like you you just you have to put in the time and if you do then hey you can compete with anybody if you don't then like you can still compete with anybody but the chances of you actually playing at the level necessary to compete with anybody are very slim because I've beaten a lot of very good people. Like, I've gone to tournaments and I've blown people up that nobody expected me to blow up. Like, they're sitting there as, like, the favorites. Or, you know, like, a top a top three contender. And all of a sudden, I walk up. Nobody knows who the fuck I am. Nobody knows where I came from. They just see some big-ass dude sitting down. It's like, oh, this is just some random. And, then, and so, obviously, that also kind of helps you a little bit. Where somebody underestimates your abilities somebody doesn't know you you know like you're not a known name so like ah who gives a shit about this random obviously they're not gonna be good and so they kind of let down their guard they underestimate people that's another mark of being a tr like truly professional competitive anything you never underestimate anybody you always assume that who you are playing can fucking blow you up if you aren't careful um anyway i'm going way too far off topic off topic the point being, that motherfucking Gordo player disappointed the shit out of me. God damn. But yeah, I'm going to, I will uh, go through and actually get some replays so I can do that some more. That'd be, I think that would be cool. And so we'll see.